Hello and welcome to another Ganguru tutorial. This one's leaving, oh, carrying on from where I left off last time with the radar script. Um, in the forums, Pete, um, someone's asked how you can add an extra Y point or checkpoint or whatever on the radar. So, I had a look. Um, it's not as hard as it seems, but it, it's quite awkward to get working um, because of blues and nil errors and all this malarkey. So, First of all, we'll add in a barrel. In fact, we'll add in a play marker as well, just to get that there. Um, go to the barrel, select properties. It's already not static, so change the scripts into radar, and we want radar multi. Open. Oh, um, always active. Not that I'm going to go out of range, but we might as well get it right while we're doing it. Um, now add another script in another object. We'll make this the second barrel. Pop that there. Properties again. Add the script. Objective. Apply. Add another barrel. Make that explosive. Put that there into properties and another script the objective just the easiest way of doing it you could probably get it all in one if you wanted but this is quick and easy right so that should work fingers crossed so there we go and that's yellow and that's green and that's invisible because of the actual radar script. So yeah, that's that's done. And I suppose I could add in an enemy. Um, have you put you there? Um, I doubt he'll attack me from that distance, but just in case, let's just. Um, oops, give myself a bit more health and a weapon. Do. That. And you should see the soldiers on who are red, I believe. I think that should be red. Which is standard anyway. But we can see we've got three different colours there. Which normally you can only have green or yeah, no, yellow. Yellow is default. And green is the new one I've added. So anyway, on to how it's done. That's the important bit that everyone's waiting for. Right. This the two scripts. That's the old one. Very old one. This is the new one with new positions as well. But in the new one, I've added new object or new OBJ equals zero there. Well that's it's not in here. Um, and all the way down in function add objective. I've doubled up, let's get down here, you can see that's there, I've doubled up on this, so I basically say, yeah you can see objectives, this bit here, then I've grabbed all of this code, stuck it within this little loop here, so if new object equals zero, then do all that lot, and then if new object equals one, then do all that lot, that's basically changing, creating the sprite there. That's increasing the count which you need to anyway, and then you're changing your spot, you could add as many as you wanted here. Yeah. And I'm resetting it at the end just to make sure it's it's resetting. I don't actually think you need that, but I'm just making sure. Um, and if I minimise this, you'll see the objectives. In here, I've added the objective equals zero, just before it runs this. And in this one, I did one just before it runs this. So basically, that means zero means it's default, and it'll just run the first one. And one means it'll run the second one, and it'll change it to green or yellow or whatever you've set it to. Which, scrolling up, is loaded in here. You can put whatever image in you wanted. You can have an image of the actual item, anything you wanted in there. It's quite adaptable, and like I say, good script in general so yeah that's that's about it and then when you put it together as I've showed you here you get lots of things 
to do so. Let's extract a few of these down. I'll put a few of these down. Mix them in. Ooh, I'll do. And there we go. Multiple objects in the right hole. There we go. I, still do, I should have just messed around. I mean, if you want to change the colour, like I say, it's just in here. But say we, it's black. Perhaps we want black. So, we are changing it to green. Just change that to black because it's already loaded in. There we go. Save that. Run it again. Runtime error 501. Lovely jubbly. Done something wrong there. Right. Um, yeah. It, um, uh, it wasn't black. Don't know why. I thought it was black, but I'm just misreading it at back. Make sure it's capital B before I run it. It's not. No. Yeah, it is. So that's the actual radar image. But what I'll do is I'll change it to that. The size is small, so it should work. I'll try again. There you go. Can't really see, but that's actually the radar image. Got one up. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that because they're explosive. Which I want to increase my health. Anyway, that'll do. So yeah, many many different ways to alter this script. And that's well, that's probably about all you're ever going to need, really. I mean, apart from changing the uh, main actual compass, which is pretty easy to do anyway. If you follow this, you'll be able to see how to do that. So, yeah, until next time, I'll catch you later.